Hello everyone, I hope you all are safe and sound. As you know that the latest version of Pictoblox is out now, it has lots of new features like the NLP extension, recognition card extension, the IFTTT webhook extension, Pictoblox link and the new credit system. We have also added an easy file sharing provision for software, updated board firmwares along with some other bug improvements for making your experience better. In this video, we will talk about Pictoblox Link, which plays an important role for improvising the connectivity to Pictoblox over Bluetooth connection with your favorite boards like Evive, Quirky, ESP32, Arduino, Microbit, Lego, and makes working in real time mode, aka the stage mode, really fun. So, let's understand what Pictoblox is, where to download and install it from, and how to connect your favorite board using it along with seeing it in action. Pictoblox Link is an application used by Pictoblox to carry out hassle-free Bluetooth connection with hardware devices. You can find the download link in the description box or you can even simply Google it. Next, choose the appropriate platform that is Windows or Mac, then download it and install it. Run the Pictoblox Link application on your device. To make sure it is running, it should appear in your toolbar. Next, make sure that the Bluetooth of your device, that is laptop or PC, and Bluetooth of your favorite board is on. I am using my Quirky board to test. Now, open Pictoblox. Select the appropriate board you want to work with from the menu bar. Next, click on Connect button and select Bluetooth ports. As the Pictoblox link is running perfectly in the background, a list of available devices will appear. Click on Connect to select yours. With this, your board will get connected to Pictoblox. Let's write a small script to see it in action. One important thing to keep in mind while working with Pictoblox link is that you cannot upload codes via Bluetooth. It's only to communicate with your favorite boards which already has firmware uploaded in it in real time or stage mode. We will test the working wire displaying the happy emotion animation on the LED matrix of Quarky. Place when flat clicked hard block from the controls palette. Add a forever block to make the script run forever. Finally, to display the happy animation from the display palette, place display happy animation block. By default, happy is selected in the drop down. Click on the green flag to run the script. That's it, you can see my Quarky is smiling. So, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and make your favorite board smile using Pictoblox. Also, if you face any issues while performing this activity or any other activities with Pictoblox, you do not have to worry about it. You can head over to the Pictoblox troubleshooting page or write us to add support at the rate stempedia.com. Don't forget to join the army of Pictoblox users on Facebook to stay updated. Here, you can ask your query or share your amazing projects with others. See you in the other video. Bye-bye. Stay safe.